known this for years, but I still have trouble battling with this thought in my head, thinking that others are going to know what, what little crack or crevice makes you cringe, thinking that others are going to hear what you hear that makes you cringe. Well, little do we realize, it's hard to realize that what may sound like a squeaky, out of tune, fucking irritating violin to someone sounds like the most serene, beautiful tone of a fucking saxophone, beautifully in tune in the moonlight. You know, so sassy that can sway you and really make you feel fucking great. So what's a little imperfection to the man who made it might be the fucking one little thing that's always pointed out by one of my close friends like Johnny Biggs when we're jamming to a track and he goes, points out this little squeal or this little quirk thing and I'm like, oh, does that make you cringe too? No, that's the coolest thing. I never thought Mick Jagger, Mick Jagger, Mick Jagger was a great singer. I never thought Bob Dylan was a great singer. Matter of fact, I thought he was one of the worst singers I've ever heard in my fucking life. And uh, multi, multi millions later, you know, he gets his point across and uh, you feel his emotion and how are you going to get around that, you know? Maybe that's better than the greatest singer in the world, is to be able to get your message through to someone else through the actual way you sing it and feel it at that time. Guarantee he doesn't sit down all day and all night working his balls off over the coals trying to perfect some lyric, you know what I mean? Uh, if that's the case, if this is what it's come to in this day and age, why don't we all just sample our voices, our instruments, and our drums and just put them in a fucking computer and type in the notes and fucking timing and everything that we want to play and just let it do the work for us. What? I mean, what the fuck? You know, that's why those old records were so fucking great back in the day. It's because there's no way that you could go back and pro tool it, slice it, dice it, do this and fix that and fix that. All the imperfections were left there, but really they weren't imperfections. Truly, those were what, those were the most honest, you can't beat honesty. Those were the honest fucking, that's the honest way the dude sounds, unmanipulated. Stripped down and honestly from the fucking heart. What is perfect, you know? That's like saying, man, uh, well, dude, you can play with feel and everything if you're a drummer, but you've got to stay in time. You know, you got to be solid. Well, all I can say is some of my favorite fucking records, the tempo shifts three or four times. When it takes off, it takes off. You feel the fucking gas, the power behind it, and it goes. You feel the motherfucker's emotion, and it's moving. You can't stop it. It's like a fucking race car when it hits the gas. How can that be wrong? So that cancels that theory that, he, you know, to be a great drummer, you got to stay in time. That's horse shit. That's like to say to be a great singer or a great guitar player, you got to play in tune. You got to be in pitch, you know. Well, you can spend all fucking day and all night trying to get it exactly right on pitch and then uh, go hook up your even tied harmonizer and bend it back out of pitch. That don't make no sense to me. So, uh, some in some of the greatest moments of uh, guitar playing and singing is to hear somebody's fucking pipe screaming, trying to get to that fucking note, and you can hear the rage, and then, oh! Or overshooting a note. It's like just overexcited, man. That is fucking emotion. That is a live human being, you know? Uh, fucking some of the other greatest moments I can immediately think of off the top of my head are listening to Black Sabbath records back when Tony Iommi would double his guitars, and they'd go out of tune. One would be like here, and one would be up here. And then when they would fucking, fucking fight, dogfight each other, just rawr, listen to the front of Iron Man. That's some of the heaviest sounding shit you'll ever hear. And that's per more perfect proof that the live feel, the honesty blows away computer technology and what perfect truly is, if there is such a thing. I'm against it all, man. Let it fucking all hang out, brother.